Hello, and welcome to Archvelder's Hacks with Archvelder and his amazing hacks. In this video, I'll be talking about the gold making potential of legacy farms in Battle for Azeroth, with a focus on raw gold and vendor gold. Now, there have been a number of changes in 8.0, and they're worth breaking down. First, several Cataclysm raids, traditionally the best source of legacy gold, that were worth doing, have been nerfed. Firelands in particular has had all its non-boss gold drops removed, greatly reducing the value of trash farming. The trash at the start of Dragon's Soul, that was briefly dropping very decent gold, uh, very decent raw gold, has now been completely nerfed. Dungeons are in much the same position as they were before 8.0. Uh, for example, Lost City of the Tol Vir here drops around 50 gold for all the trash in the dungeon, which is very meh. And much the same applies to any kind of pre-cataclysm raid. Of course, you can still get reasonably good value running through the bosses in Wrath of the Lich King, Cataclysm and Mists of Pandaria for things like pets and certain high-value specialist crafting materials. This video is mainly for those who want to run repeatable trash farms for easily obtained gold. The best Cata raid from the perspective of trash farming is the Bastion of Twilight, mainly because it is incredibly quick. The trash in the first chamber can be cleared in as little as 30 seconds or so. The human mobs around the edges of the room drop around 35 gold per run. The mobs in the centre don't drop gold, but they can drop the occasional item like Soul Blade, which vendors for hundreds of gold. And despite successive nerfs, this raid still drops a lot of Ember Silk cloth, which still sells reasonably well because of the persistent value of Ember Silk bags, which are unaccountably still selling for an average of 630 gold across all realms. Now, the top two legacy farms are both Mists of Pandaria raids. The first one is Heroic Mogashan Vaults. And that's in the northeast of Conlai Summit, if you've never been there. And this was the easiest gold farm in the whole of Legion. I'm really surprised no one ever mentioned it. Why I like it is that it is fantastically quick. Uh, you just kill the stone lions in the first chamber, split and reset the instance. Now you can run this farm ten times before you get logged out. And doing this, I made 1,360 gold from vendoring greens and lockboxes, which you can send to a rogue, a class trial rogue if you don't have one. What stops this being a really good farm is that no raw gold drops at all, though you can get a lot of the trash item stone hearts, which stack and sell for just under a gold a time. Now, you should be able to do a run a minute and you should be able to hit instance lockout therefore in 10 minutes and you'll be making 8160 gold from vendor items per hour but what makes this dungeon a lot more attractive is that you get quite a few spirits of harmony on top of that and these still sell very well on most realms during this run, I got 5.5 Spirits of Harmony before Luckout, which is worth 1705 gold, averaged across the average price of Spirits across all realms. Spirits sell really well because you need literally hundreds of them to make the Sky Golems, which allow herbalists to farm without dismounting, and are extremely valuable in this or any expansion. In total, Mugashan yields 18,450 gold, per hour invested, which is excellent in my opinion for a simple legacy farm like this. Of course, you won't be able to farm it for an hour because after about 10 minutes, you're going to get instance luck out. Now, as I'm sure someone will point out in the comment section below, there are many ways to make more than that per hour in Warcraft. However, large numbers of players prefer simple, straightforward approaches like legacy raid farming, which get immediate results rather than messing about with the auction house, uh, the add-ons, etc. Now, by far the best farm I'm going to cover is another Mr. Pandaria instance, Heart of Fear. 
Now I'm running this raid in LFR mode for reasons I'll explain yeah, shortly. Yeah, you get into LFR for Heart of Fear by going to Law Walker Han in the Seat of Knowledge above Mogushan Palace. Now something has changed with Heart of Fear after the pre-patch as the amount of raw gold dropping from this instance has changed dramatically. Just from the mobs in the first chamber you'll get around 60 raw gold and you'll get over 100 raw gold from killing all the trash up to the first boss which takes only a minute or so. Is this a bug? It's difficult to say. On the one hand the amounts of gold that are dropping here seem to be a lot more than in other similar instances which seem to have been heavily nerfed. On the other hand the amounts of gold here aren't that spectacular in absolute terms. Now there's two ways to farm Heart of Fear. The first traditional classic method is to simply kill all the trash up to the first boss. And this is the best way to maximize your gold per minute invested, but causes you to hit instance lockout very fast. Running this instance up to the first boss 10 times, I got 1983 gold in raw gold and greens which I vended. Assuming you can kill all the trash in a minute, that's 11,898 gold per hour. But of course you'll hit instance lockout in 10 minutes. Now I also received 6.8 spirits of harmony during that time also which bumped up the total hourly profit by 12,648 gold which is 24,546 gold per hour. Now this is great for people who like farming in short bursts but for those of you who like farming for longer periods at a time you don't have to stop there. The way Legacy LFR works is that unlike normal and heroic dungeons you can actually reset the bosses after you've killed them. You only get the loot from the bosses once. When you kill them subsequently they will have no drops. However all the trash in the dungeon will drop loot however many times you do it. So this means you can farm all the trash after the first and second bosses multiple times per hour as I'm showing here. This approach will allow you to farm gold for rather longer than the first approach before hitting instance lockout. The drawback being that profit per minute invested is slightly lower as you waste a bit of time killing bosses that aren't dropping loot after the first kill. Using this approach I made 11,238 gold before hitting instance lockout inclusive of the Spirits of Harmony in around half an hour so that would be 22,476 gold per hour of time invested. The reason you use LFR here is partially because you can exit the dungeon instantly and yes I know there are multiple ways of getting out of dungeons quickly but they all have drawbacks in terms of setup time or loading screens. There's an additional reason and that is to do with the fact that provided you can do unique raids you can bypass instance lockout. So for example you can do 10 Heart of Fears in half an hour and then one Bogoshan Vaults LFR immediately afterward. And in fact if you desire and you keep doing unique raids you can run through every single Mr. Pandaria LFR raid there is. So there's the video. There's going to be a lot more gold making content on this channel in the near future focused on the new content in Battle for Azeroth. If you like this video you can subscribe but unfortunately it doesn't make any difference really because YouTube simply doesn't notify subscribers about videos. If you'd like to get updates from this channel the best thing you can do is watch one of my playlists which I'll link to below as the more of my stuff you watch the more likely it is YouTube will tell you when I do upload something new and if you really want to know more about where the bunny hole you've just jumped into goes then you may want to join my Patreon where I upload Warcraft Secrets far too hot for YouTube. We also have an amazing community of over 400 patrons who themselves frequently share fantastic content in their own right. Thanks for watching, this has been Archvalder.